And this is Chris Rodriguez, a little trickeration, and they put the ball on the ground. Tonka Hemingway has it for Carolina, and he takes it down inside the two. Rodriguez was trying to pitch it to Barry on Brown. Gamecocks have already ripped their shirts off in the stands. Shane Beamer's got to change headsets, but otherwise, things are going Carolina's way. Well, they're trying a little razzle-dazzle, a little reverse to start the game, and is that Darius Rush? Yeah, Darius Rush got in there to got to get a hand on it. And now Carolina knocking on the door. Spencer Rattler is the South Carolina quarterback. Oklahoma transfer, and on first down, they will run it, and they punch it in. Marshawn Lloyd, what a start for South Carolina. You run a reverse on your first play if Will Levis is out there quarterback? No, you don't, right? And, and sometimes that's... Second possession for Kentucky. Sharon pressured and somehow escapes. Or did he? He did not. Wouldn't throw it away. And he's chased down by Jordan Birch. It's a loss of three. And Sharon will hand it off. They'll run it with Jatah McClain. Back in action, and Sherrod Green, the first of many Gamecocks there after a pickup of eight. And Kentucky will bring the punt team on. Levis has transformed himself into a first round pick. He's having a fantastic year. The scouts drooling over. Here's Van with a chance for a return to the 30, to the 35, and finally forced out of bounds after a 17 yard return. So on the other side for South Carolina, it's Spencer Rattler. Fourth year junior out of Phoenix who transferred in from Oklahoma 18 and four as a starter in first three games kind of had to find himself within this offense but he's been better to Cadence in South Carolina because that is you don't see that and now they'll run it with Lloyd and he finds a hole Cole what's your experience in those situations it obviously can like Jordan said they, if they know what your snap count your Cadence Sharon to Rodriguez. And they pick up maybe a yard. Action after they get C Rod going next drive now that he's set. Oh, they got it! Another special teams play for South Carolina. It ends up in Goodfellow's hands, and he is plowed. It is Beamer Ball 2.0, and South Carolina has used it to turn games around. Kenyon ended up with the ball. King Demian Ford is the one that crashed in. Boy. Watch 80 go this direction. They double up on one guy and leave two on the outside as free runners. That's just a count mistake. That's one of those things that pre snap, when those gunners get up there, they're counting who they have. 80 got his eyes on the wrong side. He should have been to the guy on the right side of him, although there was another one on the other side as well. So that is the fifth block punt of the season for South Carolina. They've got a good running back of their own, and Marshawn Lloyd. And he takes it for a first down. What a start for South Carolina. Yeah. Four man rush and they got to him. Rattler lost the ball at the end, but seemingly was down. The play continues and Kentucky has recovered. The screen, Barry Brown. Tracked down by Green. It's a gain of 15. Here comes Kentucky. Boys to take a 14 0 lead. Here's Rodriguez. South Carolina's run defense is over zero. No safety here, so I'd attack the middle of the field. Doing just that, it's tipped though. And it falls incomplete. Missed opportunity for Kentucky. Boy, and this is another great learning moment for a, a, an inexperienced quarterback. Watch the trajectory that lets this ball go. Last week. And a decent hold after a low snap, and Ruffalo off the post. And the issues continue with the Kentucky kicking game. Mark Stoops before the game today when I asked about special teams just kind of shrugged his shoulders. Another 10 win season last year for Kentucky. Here's Juju McDowell. And he is met and thrown to the ground by Kedron Smith. Third down three. Rattler flushed again. Complete for a first down. That is Josh Van. 
Tennessee, by the way, they get Alabama next. Bama scoreless with AM early on. Here's Marshawn Lloyd. He's got the lone touchdown in this game. What a what a job by Hooker today. They're gonna bring DeAndre Square off the edge here. Helmet loss. Rattler steps up on a crossing route. He finds Van, and he's got it for a South Carolina first down. A pickup of a dozen. Lloyd hit in the backfield and taken down. Derek Jackson. Sharon on the run. Wow, fit it in. And it goes for a first down. That's Dane Key, the freshman from right here in Lexington. So Tom McLean is now the running back. And he found the hole, made his own, and he picks up a first down. Gain of 11. In this pro style offense, we're going to be in a lot of close games with few possessions. Wide open. Touchdown. Sharon finds Jordan Dingle. a 16 yard strike Cole that looked like an old Eddie Graham play it did a little bit but I'm going to go back to the script again because Jordan talked about how they rush only three Rattler has to pull it back still looking to make something happen and he will scramble out of bounds and fail to pick up the first down back to back plays where Kentucky dropped eight and everybody was covered let the play clock get all the way down to one and they're going deep into coverage. It is intercepted. Kentucky with its second takeaway of the night. It's Trevin Wallace with the pick. Paltry opening half and still one. You have to go back to 2018 Outback Bowl against Michigan. And now here's Marshawn Lloyd, who high steps his way to a Gamecock first down. Well, folks, when we talked to the South Carolina staff about this offense, 44, Nate Atkins kept coming up as the hidden MVP. Watch him on the right side of this offensive line, working with the offensive lineman, just getting good movement, sealing the right side for the toss sweep. A young man, you have to enjoy the way that he plays. Bring some physicality. Loves part of this passing attack. You're going to see him standing up in a two-point stance. Right there. Four man rush. Rattler up his back foot again. This time it's won by Bell, and he's got a first down. Go to your dudes. It's a gain of 13. That's a little corner stop route. Bell right there at the number three receiver to that side. He's going to press vertical. Rattler drifting a little bit, trying to buy time. Almost made him late to that, but Bell makes a great, strong catch in traffic. Play action going for the wide receiver screen. This is Wells and Antoine Wells has a first down and he's got a foot race. Touchdown South Carolina. 42 yard catch and run for Antoine Wells Jr. Oh, what I say get the ball to Antoine Wells in space. How about a quick throw for Spencer Rattler exactly what they dial up a couple good blocks here. You see Dylan Wanham number 79 driving right there driving that defender completely out of the way. And Antoine Wells really the playmaker in space the transfer from JMU has been a bright spot for South Carolina in their passing attack. He had a monster game earlier this season against Arkansas. South Carolina looking for its first conference win of the season. Kaya Sharon pressured and dropped. That's Tonka Hemingway. It's a loss of six. Well, it's a really tough one because Kaya Sharon's actually reading the defensive end right here, but this is the guy that's going to get him. He's got his eyes on the outside. He's like, oh, I'm pulling it because the defensive end's crashing down, and Hemingway comes right in his lap. That's really tough because quarterback, you just you don't have your eyes on that three technique there. You also don't have your starting right tackle. Jeremy Flax injured at the end of the Ole Miss game. And DeAndre Buford not only making his trying to find something with a quick hitter and room for Tavion Robinson. And he held on to the ball after a 27-yard gain. There you go. No, that shouldn't happen. <laughs> Four-man rush, and they get a hand on him, and Sharon goes down again. 
This time it's Gilbert Edmond. Well, South Carolina wants to bring pressure. Sometimes they do, but rarely do they get to the quarterback with this type of success. That's their third sack. Well, you mentioned. Now Rodriguez out in the flat. Eight of three. Steps up, avoids the pressure. Triner's Hospital in Lexington. What an honor and what a cool scene. Pre-game. He's also started school, and none of that would have been possible without the amazing run under center. Here's Marshawn Lloyd. Back out. Compare that to Austin Stogner, who's played the majority of the game at tight end tonight. Another punishing run by Lloyd. That time he picks up four. Yeah. I don't mean it that Brock Bowers is in his own stratosphere, but that's who they want and think Jaheim Bell could be, and that's how that's what we were talking about before the season even started. Lloyd got dragged down, but had picked up the first down. Second and ten. Rattler gonna try to run, and he slides down after a pickup of five. It's going to leave third down five for Carolina. Rattler scrambles again. And this time looked like he picked it up, but we'll see where the spot is. Play action, pressured, flips it out to Lloyd. Lloyd threw square. DeAndre Square is getting banged up tonight. That's a pickup of three. Huge third and long. Pressure from the edge. Rattler stands tall and he delivers it for a first down and more. Jalen Brooks pulling away. Brooks stepped out of bounds at the 22. It's a first down catch and run of 29 yards. Well, I love the play design here. You have Brooks on a tight split on the right side right here. And all these guys are going to try to run off, clear everything out for this route right here. It's really just a rub route. Those guys are going vertical and then crossing the field to try to pull defenders out of the way for Brooks coming across. There's no reads there. That is throw to Brooks the entire way. A play designed to get your playmaker. Now back to the shotgun. Here's Wells. Delivered to Brown. Pickup of seven. It's a short one. Quick tempo. Lloyd gathered and dropped. Derek Jackson was there. And he drills it. South Carolina extends its lead. It's now 10 point advantage on the road as the Gamecocks look for their first conference win of the season. Downhill. And here he is. Yeah, feeding 20 yards behind the ball right now. Yeah, he's at the right side 30 with the ball at the 50. Brendan Bates to tie it in. He got walloped by Spalding. And he's close to plays. Now you find yourself 50, 60 yards from yep. where the ball is getting snapped. Pressure. Sharon heaves it. And incomplete. Got past the line of scrimmage. He had a host of game. Marshawn Lloyd. He loves the swim move, he said. One is not like the other. Everybody covered, or are they? It's complete for a first down, but a flag on the back end. Antoine Wells Jr. had time to come open. Who are you talking to? And a little reverse play for Jalen Brooks. He's got a first down, and inside the 10, still going. Touchdown, South Carolina. 24-yard run by Brooks. 
Watch the block by Antoine Wells. Has a touchdown tonight. One of their best receivers. He is going to get a huge block from the outside here. Follow him on this one. Cracking down and whap. Woo! Getting a huge hit on Jordan Wright. Really is that, a, is that a legal block in college football these days? It's a very good question. It's a it's a type of play they're really trying to get out. I'd rather not rather not do that to my mentions. <laughs> Here's Jeter for the point after. All about the Twitter game. 24-7 the South Carolina lead. Shane Beamer all smiles. Stadium has been deflated except for the uh, couple of slivers of South Carolina fans. And Sharon goes down. Sacked by Sherrod Green. Buckus watch list with a sixth year Gamecock, and it's a loss of four. Yeah, look, Sharon is looking at plays and things that he hasn't repped a ton. This is this is Will Levis's football team. Will Levis is a, a SEC East game, right? I mean, your goal is to get to the SEC championship. Obviously, Tennessee and Georgia are on that path, but this is one that. With a healthy roster and a healthy Will Levis, Kentucky fully expected to win this football game. Button. Chicken, chicken. Second and ten. He has wrapped the shack before. And another sack for South Carolina. This time it's Zach Pickens. You know, we're talking a lot about the difficulty for Kentucky to game plan and having an inexperienced quarterback, but credit to South Carolina's defense. I mean, their front, Zach Pickens has been AM coming off the game at Alabama tonight. And they get Missouri and Vanderbilt and you just kind of you could see the momentum building to the perimeter and in touchdown Jatan McClain. Sharon going deep intercepted what a grab by David Spaulding back from injury and he got that one in stride. He had the force fumble on the first snap of the game and Spaulding is going to seal it for South Carolina. Boy you got to take a shot at some point right there was a little bit of a tug there by Spaulding but not enough to affect anything I don't think. And just a heck of a play. And we saw Spalding, everybody bought in that the confidence was raised to a new level. They're going to enjoy it. They're going to get in the film room and try to build off it as well. When you're changing a culture, you can enjoy these for a few hours. You can enjoy it tonight and Sunday. The work starts again. And I don't think Shane Beamer would have it any other way. First road win against a ranked opponent since their thrilling win in two overtime.